Hello, Tess here. The image on your screen is one I generated with the Stability AI Dream Studio platform, using the text prompt in the description. I'm calling it One Must Imagine Duchamp Laughing. I'm putting up this video because I'm editing the next bonus, which is about so-called artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms, and why they are neither artificial nor intelligent, and I came across a question I just didn't have an answer to. I didn't even know how to attack it or if it was a meaningful question, but here it is. If someone takes the Dadaist algorithm for generating a poem, which is to randomly select words from a text in sequence, then feeds that poem to an image generation algorithm, is what comes out art? Is the poem art? There's creativity that goes into the images that are ruthlessly stolen to train the AI, machine learning algorithm. There's creativity that goes into the person who came up with the Dadaist algorithm for the poetry. Arguably, there's creativity in me thinking that you could pipe one into the other like a more existential human centipede. But is the image that comes out art? Because the algorithm itself is not creative. All it does is give some variations around the set of pixels that are most strongly associated with the input. Um, so I'm doing the dumb scientist thing of blindly experimenting to find out. This image can't be copyrighted currently. Any accurate attempt to credit it would start with every poor bastard whose image was stolen to produce the algorithm. I would argue that it would also include the people who built the algorithm, and me. And if you want to get on board with my stupid experiment, you. I want you to take this image, uh, there'll be a link below, modify it in some way. You can pipe it back through an algorithm if you want, you can scroll dicks on it, I don't care, and then send it back to me. If you can attach a name, a description of what you did, and a time and date, that'd be sick, because if I get enough of these, I'm going to put them together in kind of a video montage. But if you're going to the Twitter or the Blue Sky thread, and there are replies that have already got modified images in them, start with the most recent one of those instead. If they have replies that have further modifications done, go as far down that chain as you can and pick that as your starting point. I'm interested to see how far these kind of genealogies of image generation and image modification can diverge, and what sorts of things come out of it. Any kind of modification to this will be considerably more creative, I think, than the process that went to producing it, particularly if you don't just stick it into another AI. So I am genuinely curious to see what happens there. <laughs> it's such a dumb idea. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that this makes you, dear watcher, momentarily interested in something, I guess. And I guess you will have the satisfaction of knowing you got to shitpost to me on the internet. So, uh, break a leg, darling.